developmentally in those lessons. And we can blend our awareness through movement lesson and functional integration hands-on lessons. And it just all looks like play. And it may start with rolling the head, looking where the eyes go. And if the child can't crawl, um, can't do much of anything, then I start to go primitive, get the eyes to move, get the tongue to move. I'm working cerebellum up. I'm working from the base of the brain up and feeding back into the systems until eventually I can get side bending until I can eventually get them to start to initiate the act of rolling over. What a blessing, Cynthia, when a child or a baby or a toddler who has never been able to roll over on his own fruition can do this. It is the greatest gift because from there comes the scooching up and we can start to work with different ways of creeping and crawling and working extensor muscles to come up. But I say to you, not as a technique, as a thinking, that we are guided by watching how the child is taking this information. 